rights defenders from different suburbs of the nation's capital, NCD family sexual violence action committees, youth groups and stakeholders joined forces this morning in a peaceful protest against violence against women and children. On their banners, in their declarations, all that could be heard was no compensation. We want justice. They brought with them a petition to present to the Marape Steven government. Now you make a total association, Human Rights Defenders Association. Time already sexy in Bagarak. Also, first person I'll go and I'll go to one mama or Usadba. Look, Sabel or Wari Blowen. The purpose of the march is due to the increase in women being murdered, tortured and killed without justice serving its purpose. In the latest killings earlier this month, 23 women and children were brutally murdered in a payback killing in Hela province. Other gruesome deaths were of a mother and two children in Mount Hagen, and other killings involved women suspected of sorcery. Linda Tule, the president of Human Rights Defenders Association, said compensation is not the solution and perpetrators must be prosecuted. So if Papua New Guinea, it's during your time, you say, do you really, it's really an issue? As human rights defenders, we collect our own data. We have our data to know that GBV is an issue. And if it's happening in PN, in Mosby, I'm sure it's happening in Papua New Guinea. Deputy Prime Minister David Stephen welcomed the protesters and received their petition. We want men and women to be equal in right. Yes. We want men and women to be partners in development. We want men and women to go to our school and to compete. And if the woman beats the men because they get a better grade, they should not be degraded because of their sex. Mr. Stephen also said this petition will be discussed on the floor of parliament when it resumes. Lillian Soperakinea, National, MTV News.